it's cold. You feel that? You see that? There it is. I'm, I'm dressed for success. <laughs> Here's the good thing. Good thing about winter fishing is locating fish is easy. Getting them to bite is not. So let's do some of that captain special. Whatever I can jig up off the bottom. And uh, yeah, let's try to stay warm while we're doing it. Um, not too much great weather opportunities headed my way for a bit. So let's make our lemonade if we shall. Thought I saw some life on that hump. But it could be wrong. That looks like a good catfish spot though. Maybe we'll try that later or another time. Hmm. Here, yeah, crappie, crappie, crappie. They were like 20 to 30 feet down, so they were quite deep. Oh, I see them. Yep. Big school. Cool. Swing and a miss. One out. Nice. Power bit. Hmm? Damn. Oh, goodness. <laughs> My goodness. All right, that fish, I'm sure most people know what that is. That's a black crappie. Uh, real nice one. Say goodbye. You got him there, too? Ooh, there he is. Come here, you. Look at that. Stud. Oh, I got him. Yeah, like right there, I think. Oh, yeah, right here. Gosh, look at that one. Yep. All right, so the first half of our day or journey, uh, it's been a lot of uh, crop. I think we landed probably like five or six each. Now I'm going to look for some white perch too, and maybe striped bass. Uh, that was weird because uh, those crappie were, how should I say, they were uh, suspended, not near any structure, just free cruising. Uh, like they were lost. <laughs> That's what it felt like they were lost. This right here is a Sabeel blade bait. 21 grams, so like three quarters of an ounce. And I have a little tactical anglers clip on there. Tank. What a tank, guys. <laughs> Tanker. That's a tank right there. Oh my gosh. I'm going to weigh that fish as soon as we get off these schools of perch, man. Look at that perch, man. Whew. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there, guys. Let's see. Oh yeah, on the studs here, man. Another good fish right there. <laughs> Using the blade bait. 1.14 ounces, uh, just under two pounds, guys. <laughs> Almost two. I still have never broken a two pound white perch, but that's uh, it's a monster right there. All right, that was a big white perch, man. We gotta get out of this wind though. We are taking it to the teeth. It's cold. Just get out of this wind. Real solid fish though. Sure there's a big blue cat in here somewhere for me. So we have white catfish. Uh, we have uh, channel catfish. Uh, we have flathead catfish. <laughs> And we have, oh yeah, blue head, uh, common bullheads, and we have blue cats. So that's, sorry, I'm going to pop that up to five types of cats. So we're going to chop up that smaller white perch we saved. Egg sinker, bead. Uh, I'm going to use a very short leader. I don't think you need a long leader for catfish. But maybe uh, somebody with a little more catfish experience will tell me otherwise. Oopsie, try not to tangle your rig up. All right, well, I 
I think my camera might have been off, but Abram sent me over here. Well, it's not a blue cat. It's a really, really large. Uh, I almost said Spanish mackerel. Uh, that's a very large channel catfish. 27 inch channel cat. That is a nice one. <laughs> that's kind of cool. It's in a nice long drift. On there is a strip of white perch. On here, it's just that blade bait. There's a couple perch around. fun on these light rods, man. Let's see what we got here, guys. One rod had a catfish for me. Ooh, big fat perch. It's a solid one, too. Pogies, right? Yeah, some kind of pogey. Keep you. And we'll keep one more and call it on the perch. Oh, something on the drop. Green bass. I don't know. Feels like a greenie. Yeah. Not a bad greenie. Little blade bait green bass action. <laughs> Decent fish. A lot of different fish down here, I think. Let's see what that is. Oh, I think that's a catfish. I don't like catfish on the blade bait. Who knows? Let's see what we have here. White perch again. A stud. Stud for the stud for the breadcrumbs. Yeah. <laughs> that's the last one I'm gonna keep, I think. Maybe I'll keep one more. I think that's a striped bass right there. 13 inches. Nice size today, man. It's exciting stuff. Um, I'm gonna probably release everything else for the rest of the day. I got enough meat in the cooler. So we'll explore around, uh, see what else we can catch here. Should be a striper or two around. Ooh, look at those marks right there. Those are some real nice marks. White perch trunk. Another channel. Yeah, wow. Stud. <laughs> nice size channels, huh? Crazy fish, huh? They pull pretty good, man. Especially since that water is 47, so I'll take it. I'm headed in. You can check the video's description for everything we used today. Uh, lots of white perch and crappie. No striped bass today. Uh, but definitely a pretty good day of fishing. Um, Berkeley, I use these Berkeley power baits. Great for the crappies. And for the uh, white perch, I use little metal lures, blade baits in particular. So, start working my way in right now, and uh, thanks for joining me. It was cold. <laughs> I toughed it out. Uh, I don't think we really broke 45 today and water temp's 47, so that's winter fishing, but it was a good day, man. We caught a lot of fish. Uh, 
White perch are available anywhere from uh, South Carolina through Maine, I think. All right, we'll catch up soon. Thank you for watching.